Hello friends, welcome to Channel Reza Plate. I'm your friendly neighborhood Reza. Today I'm reviewing April's weather themed Manny by Me box. Clouds are super trendy and there are plenty of those here, as you can see. But uh, have you ever conceived of having a map of a fast moving tropical storm on your nails? Like this. I hadn't, but uh, I'm glad Maniology's creative team did because these plates are just like a hurricane. Yes, pun, because they're blowing me away. Oh, you know I couldn't resist a pun. Anyway, so on my channel, uh, Channel Razor Blade, I add my own spin to nail art product review videos, technical tutorials, I teach tips, I teach tricks. Sorry, I sneezed. Uh, give me a thumbs up on this video if you enjoy it. And please comment to tell me what you liked, questions you have. And of course, please subscribe and click the bell to be notified about new videos. And at the end, stay tuned because I'll be telling you what's in my giveaway. Um, I don't have um, it set aside to show you yet, but I have written down what's in the giveaway. I'm having when I hit 1500 subscribers, which feels so close. I've been doing this channel for, I don't know, three or four years or something. And this is a really big milestone for me. So, uh, this is very exciting. Anyway, let's talk about the box. We have M X M, which are the, um, initials that they use for when it's a Manny by Me plate. We have 77 and 78. And this month, the surprise item in the box is a plate. And I love it when they do this, but it always makes my job a little bit harder for the review video for the month because of course I have to show you all sorts of Manny's and you know nail art and stuff that you can do with this plate too. So do keep an eye out for that, it is coming. Uh, as you can see, I've prepared quite a bit for you today. I'm going to get the polishes out of the way so I can go through my normal spiel about all the different um, images and give you some ideas about what you can do with them. This one is called Cloudburst. Um, Devin made a point of showing us in the uh, unboxing that even though there is an iridescence to this particular polish, if you were to use it, say, on the nail straight, that's not so much there when you stamp it. And you can, you can see that. Um, although if you're searching for it, there's probably some, you know, iridescence there. In fact, as I'm moving it around, no, I'm picking up a light. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, oh, I see it. I see it. Uh, yeah, there goes my bias. I'm, I'm looking to be seeing it. Anyway, so let me show you though. It really does look pretty cool on the nail. I haven't had any luck wearing these, but maybe you have. And if you have, it's, it's really flippin' cool. Anyway, nice and dark. And so what they're calling this one is a unique ash gray tinged with smooth purple iridescent shimmers. And ash gray is a word, if you've ever had ash blonde or ash brown hair, it's a cool color. It doesn't have any warm highlights in it. You can see anything that's going to be toned with that kind of, um, you know, blue and the purple and stuff, that is definitely a cool toned gray. There we go. Now let's see here. This one says droplet. And of course we do have a, an iridescence here as well. Now let me see what they're calling this. Um, this is a baby blue with a delicate pearly iridescence, perfect for painting raindrops. Okay, I'm gonna be done with this card now. All right, um, so I have also swatched this one and this one actually has done a very, very good job of stamping on the black, which used to be something I didn't really think about with Maniology polishes. It, they just weren't my good performers. And the ones they've released in the past few months, I've been really enjoying the way they've been stamping on black. So good luck, I mean, sorry, good show, Maniology. And then here it is on the white. There you go. I'm using, for, for my sample uh, swatches, I've been using the uh, wind swirls that are very sort of Van Gogh. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, so, and then here is the swatch of the baby blue. Not really seeing much iridescence here. So your mileage may vary. And I'm gonna set this all aside so that I can talk about the swatches and the plates. 
Let's chat about the... Sorry, sneezed again. All right. So we have 77. Now, I wasn't able to... I mean... So when you do a gradient of a sky, you are incorporating all those layers of the sky as well as the colors that are reflecting off of the clouds or water vapor in the sky, that sort of thing. Uh, this could be the circumnavigation marks. I mean, I don't, I don't know exactly what this means. Um, so please tell me if you are the person who knows. Maybe we're just meant to, instead of grade the colors, put them in, you know, maybe like stripes. Maybe that's the look that this particular stamp is going after. Now here we've got a rainbow and some cumulus clouds and as you probably imagined with all these different kinds of clouds uh, that I might have a spiel about cloud types and it's true I do but I didn't want to take too much time on it because um, those sorts of things if you go cloud type infographic like on a google search you'll, you'll find everything I'm about to tell you and show you in fact I can tell you that I think that this particular stamping plate was very heavily um, inspired by one particular infographic. So this is a cool thing about cumulonimbus clouds before I forget though, they tend to be super tall. So they, they'll stack on top of each other as the um, cloud gets thicker and thicker and more water vapor uh, sort of collects in there and it gets ready to, get it gets ready to rain, okay? so. Technically, so we're talking about when we say cirrus, we mean the very top of the atmosphere, the super, super skinny stuff. Okay, wispy. And then stratus are really more like a fog level cloud, um, really low. And then the alto of the cumulus and the stratus that tends to be in the middle as far as height goes, or I mean, I guess once it's that high, it's not really height we're talking about, but you know what I mean, feet in the air, in the sky, into the atmosphere. So, but we have these sort of hybrid types of clouds. So before I talk too much, you know, these are essentially what we're talking about. Cumulus are the fluffy cotton clouds, and then cumulonimbus are the fluffy cotton, but they're turning gray and they're getting really, really thick and you can't really see through them very well. And these are the kinds that will develop tornadoes and stuff and thunderstorms and things like this. These flying bird cirrus clouds look very much like the clouds right here. In fact, this whole structure looks very much like this infographic. See these two? So, um, that should help you through and I should, you know, and so I'm not going to talk much more about that. But while I'm on this particular plate, I'm going to tell you about these isobars. Um, you, they look probably to you maybe a little bit like topography marks on a map, right? Um, but when isobars, they're marks of barometric pressure, uh, they get connected in the area that's all the same pressure and they'll be around a low or a high pressure point, right? So this is gonna be a low pressure point. These are really close together. It means the high wind speed, and these are probably isobars of a tropical storm. So that is why, or multiple storm fronts, you know, sort of uh, going through the area. So that is why I did this particular nail art here. I did like doing the hurricane and um, the sort of radar different colors. Um, I couldn't determine whether this is radar or whether it is um, a temperature. So when, they're, when the colors indicate temperature, that's isotherms. Anyway, the point is I overthought this. <laughs> so don't be like me, but I do hope you like the nail art. And then I put in the hurricane too. Uh, hopefully that's, that's pretty okay. But I did drop all these things which is, you know, standard me. Let's go out just a little bit. So now that we're talking about this plate still, okay. Oh, I was actually, it's so much better when I talk about it on the swatch. I used to take these paper swatches to show you that the plates stamped great, but they're maniology plates. So of course we know they stamp great. Now I'm really kind of using them to talk to you without the glare. So as far as this ambiguous coastline goes, my understanding is that it wasn't meant to be anywhere specific and for a good reason, so that you know the, the emphasis could be on creativity, all right? 
So we've got our stratus and cirrus and cumulus clouds over here. We've got our uh, weekly forecast graphics over here. You can use the table bits. You cannot use the table bits. Hanny's Manny has actually used this interesting little bit right here of solid in order to do their uh, weekly, weekly forecast thing. So what I did, learn from my mistake, is I used too dark a background um, but they use like a white uh, for this area and just put it right on the nail instead of what I use, of course, is my scotch tape trip trick. That's what I do. So this was my successful weather thing, or at least it used to be successful until I realized that when you have those lights on it, you can't see the Saturday at all. Oh, well, I liked it before. Uh, this was my first effort. I show you all my, my genuine failures. I couldn't get the spacing right on this. So I gave up, but once I added in the different color, it, it really did help me get the spacing right. Okay, what else do I have to show you? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you know what all these things mean, uh, but this is a really useful sun and, I mean, moon and star sort of uh, image here. Very fun, you can use it for anything really. All of these letters are super interesting and useful. This H would be great for the high pressure areas if you're including that on the map because on weather maps you'll see an H and an L. If you're trying to build an L for a um, high pressure area, I would uh, recommend maybe using part of that T or that I with part of the I then making the L. So you can, you can build that with this plate too. All right, and we've got our times of day. Um, this might be something you could use in the future, like if you're maybe a coffee fiend or something like that, and you have the coffee mini by me box or another coffee plate, you could do this sort of text on your background for like morning, noon, night, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then you could put a cup of coffee on top of it or something like that for an interesting little thing there. Here we've got a cabin in the woods. Isn't it interesting? If uh, I was reading this thing the other day about how, you know, if you would go to a cottage retreat in a forest, that sounds wonderful. But if you go to a cabin in the woods, you're going to die. <laughs> and I thought, well, that's right. Uh, we've got all these fun shooting stars and the moon. Um, and I think that's it for this plate. So let's move on. We've got our twisters here or tornadoes. I'm in the Midwest, really familiar with all of this. Um, this uh, for the cumulus clouds is pretty cool because you've got kind of, it shows how you've got various layers of them in the sky. I mean, they're not all going to be at the same level, obviously. So here are some wind swirls that will be fun. They do remind me of Van Gogh, sort of like the starry night, the, the wind patterns in there. Here is some rain. Uh, one of my first uh, samples I did was purple rain in in the in honor of prince here we've got some nice forest trees and stuff this is very hand handy i i love to do landscape manis like across all four nails oh i should probably tell you about this one uh yeah so those undies are from a uh, moyu london tumbler plate and i decided to do days of the week undies because i thought that that was fun and cute and i don't regret it but I guess a weird choice anyway. So I used uh, some Lynn B designs, um, jelly uh, neons here. That is the sticker collection. We've got snow, we've got the hurricane, we've got mountain, and I can't remember. I looked, I think these are called uh, radiance rays, but they're also called God rays. So I wrote this down, but I don't remember, but it is pretty cool and now i have lost the information anyway uh pretty cool um the term uh, radiance rays or god rays or whatever it is this is a great leaf pattern there are some plates with like a, a a girl with flowing hair like in the wind i have a few different from different brands i can't think of any off but that would go great with the, that in a manny and of course you can take these little designs and uh, use them as snowflakes in anything you want. Here we've got a thunderhead with some lightning. I'm going to tell you about a trick that Devin taught on the, uh, it was actually something I've tried before, but clearly I was doing it wrong because it worked when I did it the way she said. 
Uh, here we have a weather vane, and an interesting fact that I learned is that, oh gosh, what was it? This is ages ago, but the rooster thing isn't actually about farmyards or barnyards or anything pastoral. It's actually about, um, in the 6th century, Pope Gregory said that the rooster should be the symbol of Christianity because of um, the Peter betraying thrice before the cock crows. Anyway, if you're, you know, familiar with the Bible, you, you might be aware of that particular story. But uh, what you might not know is that in the ninth century, Pope Nicholas made it law, papal law, that churches on their steeple or dome had to have the rooster. So uh, everybody put it on their weather vanes. And to this day, it remains a very, very big deal. Also, something that I just figured out a couple years ago is that these directions don't move in the wind. It is the rooster's beak that tells you what direction the wind is blowing from. Um, because I hadn't really grown up with one, I didn't know that that was true. Um, and I did use this twister in conjunction with it. I love these leaves blowing off in the wind. No, this isn't fog. This is a stain of stamping polish, but I really did think it was a stratus cloud for a second there. I'm going weather crazy. All right, before I show you the nail art, I am going to show you these for the kawaii plate, which is what I've been talking about it as, or M279. I'm not going to go into these much, um, but I love these uh, cute weather images. I like the various winds and clouds the various clouds. I like the, um, the umbrellas and stuff. Here's a really complicated image, but it's really cool. If you want to like reverse stamp, that might be a lot of fun. Um, this one I used on this Manny. I colored in some of the things that I wanted to color in. I gave, um, and then I, over that, I stamped some of the, uh, shapes that you'll see that are large and I gave them faces. This, uh, lightning, uh, cloud reminds me of a spider and he's very scary <laughs> anyway I really like these I also like the lipstick um, shape shape falsies which and then I have a rainbow over here with some other shapes um, this was a red gradient I'm a big fan of teal white and red um, the red gradient didn't show very well but that's all right so we've got some texty here I'll be back oh hell no rain or shine, blah, blah, blah. This is all very neat. Um, these are my favorite part of the plate. I love the, this, um, it, you know, you've got a little bit of shading in here to make it look hand drawn. It's very cute. I love them all. I use the umbrella a couple times. I, I meant to use the shooting star, but I just got out of time. I, I did way too much for this one. So let me talk you through what I did for what, um, this Manny, I did, um, I told you I did gradient and I did reverse stamping. My gradient tool is these little, oh, you know, I can't find my little round uh, sponges, which is fine because I've talked to you a lot about those in previous videos. Recently, I found these and I, I use these with gloves on because it's annoying, but I, I don't know. I, I guess I could use tweezers, but I'm really liking doing gradients with this kind of sponge too. And I got this on AliExpress just out of a kind of an experiment. This is lightning, but I did a sort of a marble look. I hand colored in some of the different sections. I wanted it earth colors with gold. I don't know if this one really works. I mattified it with my Nevermind mat Mattify Me. Uh, I don't know. Tell me what you think below which your favorite are. I did an angled gradient. This is kind of a diagonal one. And then I stamped the wind swirls over in gold. And then this one actually, so I looked at this image, which is the, um, these are ISO bars. Remember, um, I looked at this image and I thought of some PowerShell jewelry I have and almost did that but then my friend Tracy and I were chatting and she said it looks like you know the naked bottom of an oyster and I might be pronouncing that wrong I've never I've done anything but read that word n-a-c-r-e-d but it's like that the stuff that makes uh, pearls and then I use different kinds of duochrome and iridescent 
in like I, I mixed them with clear polish in order to make them jelly so I could do different sections of different kinds of iridescence. And I really like that. So let me know what you think of that one. That one is essentially a collab between me and Tracy. <laughs> she gave me the inspiration. Um, here I did something, it was just sort of an abstract piece of art. I did some um, various kinds of uh, uh, sponging in different colors and some glitter. And then I used non-stamping polish in white of the hurricane in different directions to give sort of an interesting abstract look nail. I don't know, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. I showed you my failure nail. Um, I talked to you, I think, about this one. Um, I really messed up when I, when I top coated this with a different top coat than I normally use. Um, well, either one, actually. This, this one I used something from the dollar store, which I knew not to do, but I did it. Um, and all of the, um, the, the letters kind of went funky, which is not cool. But anyway, so if you're looking at that and thinking, oh my goodness, that sucks. Well, I know the letters went funky. Maybe I can fix them in post. Uh, next Manny is a gradient Manny. Um, I did the leaves in gold and then I did some bits of the stamping plate. I just used different kinds of accent colors and then I laid it over of the gold so that you should have different colors kind of picking up little hints of those leaves and the wind. Here is the tree and I stamped it over here and then I picked up various parts of the plate in contrast colors, stamped it over it. Um, and then I used that um, image of the sun either rising or setting in the mountains, whichever, whichever it is. So I hope you like that one. I've shown you my storm nails, storm watch nails. <laughs> um, and then this one is a Manny. I, I kind of wish I had kept it glossy. You can tell me if you really like it matte. This moon is from the first plate that Manny, Manny made as Manny It's M O O one, I think, but this big, big moon is awesome. And then I use the cabin and the night sky and all of these images are from these plates. And I used like a, a blue because when you have in the mountains, sometimes, especially in the Appalachians, you'll see you get some blue mountain kind of effect at sunset or twilight. Here, what you do to make those areas kind of glow is you take sheer white stamping polish on a, I mean, sheer white polish on a super, super, Devin taught me this. I've tried it before, but I must have had the wrong mix because I used this brush, okay? Um, and you really want it to be the sheer side. So I took some um, polish that I had made before and I added more um, top coat or liquid or clear polish or whatever to it. And I finally got it to work. So if, if Devin hadn't nudged me about it, I never would have tried this again. But this time you really want it to be super sheer, but it makes it look that glowing effect. I think the glowing effect is even better you know, when it's glossy, but that is my opinion. And then here is the cool um, image with the sun and the mountains. And I use that same blue, which is Boy's Tears by Maniology. And then I used the various snowflakes. Um, and I don't want to tell you what's incorrect about snowflakes that high in the atmosphere above the mountains and stuff. I don't, I don't necessarily think that it should be ruined by weather science. That's a neat Manny. That is my assertion. All right, that is my assertion. All right, so this one I did, let's see. I told you about my weekday undies Manny. I told you about my radar duo, my extra long cloud and rainbow swatch is next on my list to make sure I don't forget anything. And this is also something that I had tried before and hadn't gotten right. And Devin in the video unboxing, uh, prompted me to try it again. You use a regular stamping polish for your cloud, a white, and then you use a super sheer thing, um, white, to make you get really fluffy clouds and you can kind of see the, the blue behind them, okay? It worked this time. So once again, my sheer mixture was off. 
So before they had all sort of uh, formed into a big blot of white and it hadn't worked at all. So I've been doing my clouds with gray outlines and milky white centers, which is fine. I like this anyway, this sort of angled French idea with the clouds. Clouds, like I said, they're really popular in nails, not just stamping, but nails. You've probably noticed if you look at all sorts of nail photos. Um, and then this one is once again with the sheer white inside. I used uh, different dimensions polish with flakies in it for the blue. And then I did, you know, sort of, sort of like a French, but also sort of like, you know, how you would picture if you were walking around on the clouds. That's, that's how that would look. Um, here, I have already shown you my failure at, my second failure <laughs> at the weather week forecast. This one I like. Um, it is the, uh, I did my um, easy French with the little round stickers for binder holes. Um, and then I did, because this stamping, po this polish is not a stamping polish. It's a super, super sheer um, indie polish and it would not have been able to be used on the stamping plate um, that is for French manis anyway. And then I used a yellow stamping polish from Hit the Bottle, the yolk one. Um, for the sun and I really like this. This is a, a fun spring look that I would wear um, Also, here's my purple rain thing. It uses the umbrella from the kawaii stamping plate um, and then I have some hollow um, Glitter in between some of the raindrops to give it all the sparkle that Prince would desire and then the purple umbrella. The way that I got it to be like this, where the umbrella is actually protecting you from the rain, um, is that I put my sticky uh, base coat, um, the, the one from, never mind, it's called Clingy. Uh, I put my sticky base coat only where I wanted the raindrops. And to a large degree, that worked great. So I got the angle wrong if I wanted the nails to match, but oh well, human error. We makes it. Uh, here's another one. This is all from the kawaii plate. We have, I wanted rainbow drops. So this is my vision. Um, so we've got our hot pink uh, umbrella, and then we've got all these various different reverse stamping drops in rainbow colors. So that's how I did that. Um, let me see. Anything else I haven't talked to you about? I haven't talked to you about the stripes one. Whenever I say stripes. I think yikes stripes fruit stripe gum but I mean that's a really old reference anyway so I made these stripes you guessed it with the rain image <laughs> I just grabbed the stripes um, covered it with clear uh, you know protector by um, wet and wild and then I colored in the various stripe colors and over all these stripes I put a, a blowing um, wind kind of image from the Kauai plate and I put a sideways eye and smile on that fella or critter because of or anthropomorphized weather um, because of the fact that he is or she or they is blowing and then I have the fun leaf characters um, over this I really like this one this one I would do a whole mani of um, you be the judge tell me in below in the comments what you like best. I'm almost done guys, I'm sorry. Um, here we've got Be Cool and I use a, this is a Nicole Diary tiny, tiny plate. I don't know what number um, for the ice cream cone, but this cloud as the ice cream is from the Kauai plate and it's got a frosty white inside uh, because it's a frosty, frosty treat. Okay, then that's literally why I did that. <laughs> Just. Sometimes the choices I make, I don't know. Anyway, so this is one of my favorites. Um, it, it's the, you know, red sky, and you might have seen this, and you live in tornado country. Um, but I did this particular one. Let me see if I can get more light shining on me. Um, I did this image, and I colored in the smoke with the, with the center of the funnel with, like, really light, light gray. And at the bottom, toward the bottom, it's a white because of all that black in there. Um, I did it a few times to figure out what would show up and what wouldn't. Um, and then after I put all that down, I kind of uh, sponged some other gray, a different gray up top to make that 
really a cloud that you can't see through because those cumulonimbus clouds are so, clouds are so thick. And then I put a weather vane here um, in silhouette, of course. And that is my red tornado nail. I think that might be everybody. Tell me if I've left something out. There's some really cool infographics about weather science um, online. And if you're interested, um, all those images are out there so that you can copy them for your manis if you want something to be particularly just like the picture. Um, there will be still photos of these manis and nail art on my Instagram whenever I get it up. I don't know how I've developed an anxiety about Instagram, but I have. Hooray! Anyway, so my account info is in the video's description field. If I mentioned a product or resource in the video, it'll be in the video in the, uh, in the links in the description below. Thank you for joining me. I know this one ran long, but I was working with three plates. Please do give me a thumbs up. Tell me what your favorite thing is. Tell me if you even liked it. <laughs> um, and, uh, below and don't forget to have those bells, uh, the bell notifications on because I am doing my, uh, every other week I do a live on Sunday. This is Sunday the 10th of April and I'm doing the live at 4.30 Central Daylight Savings Time. So um, hopefully you'll be able to make whatever um, conversions you need to make to make it if you wanted to make it. I answer the questions live if you answer them. I mean, if you ask them, I answer them live. And they will be uploaded to my YouTube afterwards. So don't, don't stress, don't fret if you aren't able to make it, okay? What hint did I have you about my stuff in my giveaway for 1500? Okay, I've got some really cool stamping plates. Um, several at least, and I've got a couple of really nice fine detail brushes. I've got two clear uh, rectangular stampers in perfect condition, not all cloudy like I make them, the really perfect ones with, without ever having been used. So they're in the original packaging, of course, because why would you give away used things? That would be terrible. Okay, anyway, um, I have a stamping polish in there, probably a couple of regular polishes in there. Um, anyway, just, just, you know, make sure you're, you're subscribed because it's open to subscribers and I'm really excited about all of this. So, um, I hope you had fun, uh, with me and my crazy amount of nail art and the plates and everything. Tell me what you think, please. I live for your comments and have a razorific day. Go create, make something beautiful, even if it's out of underwear. Talk to you later.